Okay, right here is a 1972 Caterpillar 824B. Now the 824 and the larger 834 were the first articulated steering rubber tire wheel dozers built by Caterpillar. Both dozers were also introduced at the same time in 1963. This was the answer to coal stock piling and mine floor cleanup, which in most cases is where you will find a wheel dozer working is on a mining operation. The whole purpose of a wheel dozer is to push a great amount of material over a very long distance. The machine's large rubber tires give it more speed and versatility to push its load compared to a standard track dozer. Now I'm going to take and show you around a little bit. This A24 is used for backfilling. Its job is to push fly ash around, which is the reject from a cogeneration plant, to backfill a stripping pit with. This is all part of mine reclamation, and because the material that this dozer is pushing is very lightweight, the blade can be larger. This is a semi-U blade you see on this 824, which is much larger than the standard straight blade for this dozer. On each side of the dozer arms is a single cylinder, which connects to the dozer blade, and these cylinders are to push the dozer blade forward and back. The dozer arm connects to the superstructure of this machine at this hinge point right here. This beam that you see here, which is mounted to the superstructure, is what receives all the stress when this dozer goes to push into a pile of material. And right here you can see where the two hoses run from inside these shields out to power the cylinders in the front. Now a wheel dozer basically follows in the design footsteps of a front end loader and because the design of this dozer is nothing like a crawler dozer, the front of this dozer is very lightweight. So for this reason the dozer needs suitcase weights installed in the front to put more weight on the front tires and keep the nose of this dozer down. The balancing system for a wheel dozer is very much different than on a track dozer. In the front you can see a single cylinder that picks the dozer blade up and down and the headlights on each side. Now I'll take you inside the cab. Here's the operator station on the 824. You can see all the gauges out in front. This is your engine oil pressure, your water temperature gauge. This is your brake pressure, your fuel pressure, your amp meter, and here's your hour gauge. This hand lever you see right here is to shift from forward, neutral, and reverse. There's three forward speeds and three reverse speeds. These two big hand levers you see over here on my right side are to work the dozer blade in the front. One to pick the blade up and down and the other to curl the blade in and out. And there's an operator's view if we were running this dozer. The 824B has a 145 gallon diesel fuel tank installed on it, which is what you see right here. And up top is the cap to fuel this dozer with diesel fuel. Behind the operator's cab, you can see the air intake and the exhaust stack. The 824B is powered by a Caterpillar D343 diesel engine. This is the exact same engine that was used in the larger 834. Originally, this engine put out 250 horsepower in this dozer. However, later on in 1965, when the dozer was upgraded to the newer B model, which is what you're looking at right here, Caterpillar increased the power of the engine to put out 275 horsepower. And then later on in 1969, the dozer received another increase in power, up to 300 horsepower. On the back of the dozer, you can see the rear counterweight. And on this side, you can get another view of the Caterpillar engine. The hood has been removed as they're working on doing some work to the engine. On the right-hand side of the dozer is the hydraulic oil tank, which you can see right here. And right here, you can see where the two sections of the dozer are pinned together and where the articulated steering is, one cylinder on each side to turn the dozer left or right. The 824B was also offered as a tamping foot compactor. 
However, in 1969, Caterpillar discontinued the tamping foot compactor as an option for this machine, as Caterpillar would later create a new product line just for its tamping foot compactors and no longer offer them as an optional feature for their wheel dozers. But there she is, a 1972 Caterpillar 824B.